As a trader, we all look for tight or low spreads, which helps us to get in and out of the market. Using the right broker can help us try different strategies. With multiple options of brokers on the web, here at Stock Sniper Trading, we have a recommended broker, that is, Hanko Trade. With spreads as low as 0 pips and leverage up to 500x, Hanko Trade is just one click away. With multiple account types to choose from, you also have a minimum deposit of $10. Using Hanko Trade's affiliate program, refer a friend and earn up to a 40% commission on trading volume. Built by traders for traders. Hanko Trade. Welcome to Stock Sniper Trading. In today's tutorial, we will be going over the Hanging Man Candlestick Pattern. The Hanging Man Candlestick Pattern is seen as a bearish candlestick pattern. It is characterized with a long lower wick. It has a little to no upper wick and the open and close are virtually the same, but the, it does finish with a bearish body. So let's take a look at this. So when our bearish candle opens, there is a lot of selling pressure which pushes this bearish candle where it makes a low of the period illustrated by the long lower wick, but it does encounter buying pressure during the time frame where buyers push it up before the candle closes and we do have some buying momentum and we get a close on the candle. It is important to note that the close is below the open, so that's why it is still bearish in nature, but we do have some buying volume still left in this candlestick. We need additional bearish candlesticks for confirmation in order to take a sell position. The Hanging Man Candlestick Pattern. It is seen as a, a reversal pattern where it signals a bearish reversal it is a technical chart pattern. The long lower wick is two to three times the size of the body. It's commonly found in an uptrend and it can be red or green. A hanging man is a bearish reversal pattern made up of just one candle found in an uptrend of three or more bullish candles. It has a long lower wick and a short body at the top of the candlestick with little or no upper wick. The hanging man is a key piece of evidence that market sentiment is beginning to reverse the uptrend and the bullish strength is no longer there. This candle shows that there was significant selling pressure, but the buyers continued to push the price up to the open. But this sell off is an indication the price has peaked and the sentiment is reversing where sellers will eventually gain control. In addition, a hanging man candlestick can be red or green and is still considered bearish. However, it, the red body is seen as more bearish volume in the candlestick. On our left, on this diagram, we can see that we have three bullish green candlesticks making higher highs and higher lows in an uptrend and eventually it reaches a level of resistance where we do get some selling pressure and we have the formation of the bearish hanging man candlestick and it opened bearish and the selling pressure pushed it all the way down where we have the long lower wick however there was still some buying pressure from those three bullish candlesticks and there's still buyers in the market that push the price back up where it closes bearish right below the open. So we need additional bearish candlesticks for a trend reversal from bullish to bearish. This is an example of a hanging man candlestick pattern seen on our trading view charts. And in this particular example, we are looking at GBP USD on the five minute time frame, where each individual candlestick is five minutes to form. A, we reach a level of support at 1.36144. We can see that we do have a lot of buying momentum and we do not break that support level where we create B, the bullish uptrend, where we do have some buying momentum making higher highs and higher lows. And eventually we will reach a resistance level C where we do encounter some selling pressure. 
we form a hanging man candlestick D with a bearish body close and E we have the long lower wick. This candlestick is important because we see that the hanging man opens below C the resistance level where the sellers look to take control as they push the price all the way down and E the long lower wick shows that buyers are still in the market and they still push the price up where we close with a bearish body. This illustrates that there is selling pressure. However, there is still buying momentum from that bullish uptrend. We need additional bearish confirmation candles in order to take a sell entry and to, to reverse the bullish uptrend to a bearish downtrend. Our next bearish candlestick opens below our hanging man close and we continue to go bearish where we almost take out the, the, the long lower wick of the hanging man. Our third bearish candle completely takes out all of the support and we continue to go down, making lower lows and lower highs. And it leads to F, the bearish downtrend and the complete reversal from the bullish uptrend to the bearish uptrend. And this was all identified by the hanging man candlestick pattern. Let's take a look at how it looks live. Here's our candlesticks at our level of support where we do get a lot of buying momentum and it continues to make higher highs and higher lows. And we get this bullish uptrend until we reach a level of resistance. We can see by the wicks forming at the top that we are reaching resistance. And now we form our hanging man candlestick pattern. So this hanging man, you can see that it opened at the, at the close of that bullish doji candlestick and we have it come all the way down where selling pressure pushes it down to the bottom of the lower wick however we do still have buyers in the market and during the close of the candle just before the close they push the price up where it closes still bearish the close the bearish close is below where it opened so there is still some selling momentum in this candle but there is still some bullish momentum so we need to wait for extra confirmation bearish candles to take a trade and for a reversal. Our next candle opens right below our hanging man close and it continues to go bearish where we look for additional extra bearish confirmation candles and if you get into the sell entry you would place your stop loss accordingly and you would ride this down as long as this bearish momentum makes lower lows and lower highs and continues to break previous support levels and you can see on our next candlesticks we do get this selling momentum and these candlesticks continue to make lower highs and lower lows a quick recap, the hanging man reversal candlestick pattern. It is seen as a reversal pattern where it signals a bearish reversal from a bullish uptrend. It is a technical chart pattern. The bottom wick, the long is a long lower wick, which is two to three times the size of the body. It is commonly found in an uptrend where we are looking to reverse the uptrend to a downtrend. And the hanging man candlestick can be red or green. However, if it is a red body, it suggests that it is more bearish in nature. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the hanging man candlestick pattern. And on our next tutorial, we will introduce the doji candlestick.